and welcome to all of our GOLD viewers who are here with us today. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and one of the MCs here at GOLD. And here with me today is Dr. Karina Krasnov. And uh, we're going to chat about her upcoming presentation here for the GOLD Lactation Online Conference. Welcome, Karina. Hi, Kristen. So nice to be here. I'm so <laughs> happy, excited. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes, it's wonderful. And you have such a beautiful topic you're going to talk about. Your title is Oxytocin and Skin to Skin Contact, the Power of Touch During Breastfeeding. Oof, I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, what a beautiful topic. But before we jump into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're in Argentina, right? Yes, I, I live in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, which is the capital of the, the country. My country is huge from one place to the other. I live just in the middle of it. Uh, well, I am a pediatrician. I'm also a health, a public health specialist in IBCLC. I work here not as a pediatrician, but as IBCLC and um, work with families in different levels of attention. I work in the faculty of uh, odontology we, where we operate uh, tongue ties, babies with tongue ties, and we try to improve then their breastfeeding experiences. And I work uh, in my private, uh, my in private, and I also uh, teach. I love the teaching part in many universities, in the University of Buenos Aires, in one of the universities in Mendoza, which is a province of Argentina. And now I'm going to start teaching in another uh, university, which is called University of Jose Cepaz in the province of Buenos Aires. All topics about lactation and nurturing contact. So this is what I really love, my huge passion. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, you can, I can really see your passion coming through there when you're talking about the topic about uh, working with uh, clients and their, the little ones. Um, yeah, your topic today is about beautiful. It's about oxytocin, right? And skin to skin contact. How beautiful is that? Um, talk to us a little bit about the topic. Um, I always ask myself why we we don't know the important. I mean, we don't pay so much attention about the importance of touch. No, mm -hmm. not only in moms and babies, but in our lives in general. General. Um, uh, it's like we have lost that that magic, the magic of the playfulness of touch. No, we mm -hmm. usually relate touch other experiences but we we don't take that in count um and it is really magnificent because it calms us i mean it's really known that when we are in difficult situations in love in life we need yes. much more touching than words yeah. maybe no so right. in this presentation in particular we are going to talk about how uh touch in haste lactation and the opposite, no? It's like they are synergic one to another. And that's what we are going to talk about. And we're going to give also a special time to talk about premature babies and mm. touch, which is something mm -hmm. controversial because he, many times people say, well, they are so vulnerable. Just don't touch the babies. They are too tiny. They need to be they are just don't touch them and right. really babies need the opposite especially when they are so so little no so premature so premature yeah and uh, we talk about the skin is too fragile we can't you know touch the baby when it's premature right but I think there is, and have you seen this in your country as well? There is a little bit of a shift going on to the positive um, that we have more, you know, focus now on touch, that uh, touch is not harmful in, you know, in all cases. And and it can really, really beautifully uh, facilitate, you know, healing and growing and, and such in these, in these little ones, right? 
And um, a, a lot of education is needed. And that's what you are there for educating, educating healthcare providers, but also families, right? Because I can imagine that parents might be scared to touch their premature little one because they're so afraid to hurt it or, or, or do something wrong. So you probably are working also with the parents to show them safe ways of touching the baby and, and how beautiful it can be, right? Yeah. And I think that's uh, why I really enjoy and I really appreciate to talk about this topic because uh, usually we don't give those message, messages to families. We usually tell them, just just don't, no? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if we know how to touch a baby, you know, and we do it in the right way, mm -hmm. in a way that the baby will really feel calm, relaxed, mm -hmm. I think we are really helping and we just have to know how. <laughs> Yeah, have and then how combining that, right, and we have to show and uh, learn about it, and also, and then in combination with breastfeeding, you know, the skin to skin, um, you know, is, is like so nurturing and so beneficial, it's, it's not just the nutrition of the, or, you know, of the, of the milk, uh, it, but it's, it's really that kind of inter, you know, it's all intertwined with the touch, with the warmth, with the heartbeat, and and also you know the baby and it, as you said it is a synergy it goes together for the mother or uh, birthing person as well mm. i know we are going to have uh, people listening from many places in the world from many countries here in argentina we have a huge amount of unnecessary c-sections mm -hmm. and those babies are prematurely separated from their moms yeah. And usually they don't get those benefits, no, from the, the, the first moment of touching and smelling her mom. Right. And, and this is really important to talk about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know, uh, you know, there is some, uh, there's some a huge development already going on in the world about uh, m bettering C-section in a way that, you know, there is some kind of skin to skin or contact, but I still believe we can still do better and do more, right, Karina? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we have a lot more to learn, a lot more. Here, we are also um, going through a very um, difficult health uh public health crisis at this moment so sometimes we don't have uh so many agents so many people to help you no know, the mm -hmm. diets the families and that's one of our main uh steps that we have to go through you no know? mm -hmm. uh, but i think we we always have to find the the little the little and the small spaces in in each of our places in any places we work, mm -hmm. try to find a way, no, to make it easy for families, to make it easier. Easier. Yeah. Yeah. Easier. Even if it's just a tiny little bit, little by little, you know, just a tiny yeah. bit. It doesn't have to be the huge improvements right away. I mean, those were the idea, but uh, little things that we could do day by day, every visit, every, you know, encouraging skin to skin touch and, and so on. And you're so, so right to say that we're kind of living in a touch um, deprived society, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not just babies, as you mentioned, it's also older people, you know, the elderly that that uh, don't have any you know touch or physical kind of contact and and it is so important because it's good for the brain it's good for the development it's good for you know for the oxytocin flow in, in general so so we need to start early we need to start with the baby so um so this goes you know by generations and these babies are growing up and and doing it with their children and teaching others so we we hopefully end up in a society that um is is for the better in the end yes and as much as we talk about these topics about these items we are going to find societies more open more mm -hmm. uh, close no to yeah. to each other mm -hmm. we have uh, we see so much violence no in the world yeah. and i always say if we could talk about touching if we could really open places in between us and talk and, and bring this words like if they were small seeds no yes. we are really changing changing the yes. world i think uh, that's like the beginning of life as you said no 
Mm -hmm. Karina, this is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for your presentation. Any last words before I let you go today um, for our viewers when it comes to the topic? Well, no, I, get, I, I just can't wait to be there <laughs> with all of you. I'm so excited and emotional. I really thank you for giving me, for giving me and us the possibility to be from Argentina on God Lactation Conference. And I really can't wait to see you then. <laughs> Beautiful. And now to, this is a uh, thank you so much for being here, Dr. Karina Krasnov, and uh, sitting down here and chatting with me. And now some information for our viewers. If you love to find out more about this fantastic presentation, oxytocin, oxytocin and skin to skin contact, the power of touch during breastfeeding, and all the other wonderful presentations that we have in the conference, we invite you to go to goldlactation.com. We get started on April 2nd with our free open access keynote presentation on the website. You can sign up for a seat there. Please share with your colleagues and friends in the field. And we hope to see everyone at the conference. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye everyone.